Hello friends, my name is Rebecca. I'm super excited to be bringing you your next activity for our virtual series, which is all about engineering. So this activity, you're gonna be focusing on how to build a stomp rocket. That's right, your job is to engineer a rocket that you can launch using our stomp rocket launcher. But before we get into how to build a stomp rocket, we're gonna take a step back and talk about the forces that are at play to be able to make the rocket work. So rockets are a little different than airplanes. They don't actually fly. Rockets use thrust to generate themselves up into space, um, and that thrust is generated by the engines at the bottom of the rocket. Um, so if there's no flight, although they have some wings, they typically do not fly, whereas airplanes have other forces at play to help them generate their flight. So they have drag, they have thrust, they have lift, and of course, gravity. And the same thing happens with uh, rockets. Gravity is working on a rocket. Drag is gonna work on the rocket. Drag is a force that, like if you stick your hand out of a window, and it's, it's hard to keep your hand out the window when your car is moving, right? Because there's drag, there's all these tiny little things in the air that create friction that slows or makes it hard for your hand to stay there. And that's the same thing with a rocket. It slows that rocket down. And we need that because we want the rocket to come back down, right? Uh, same with the airplane. We want the airplane to be able to slow down as well. So gravity, like you experimented with our ramps activity, is working everywhere and you use gravity to your advantage to be able to move the ball down your ramp. So gravity, is what's gonna bring your stomp rocket back to Earth. Whereas an actual rocket is trying to fight against gravity to be able to get out of the gravitational pull of Earth and go elsewhere. So that's why thrust is really important. You have to have something super powerful to be able to get it to go and keep going. So um, with our stomp rocket launcher, you'll see how that works. And let's dive into how to build now that we've talked about the forces that are required to get your rocket to launch, let's talk about the materials you're gonna to use to build your rocket, and that is paper. You're going to design and build a rocket that can be launched on our stop rocket launcher just with paper. So how are we gonna do that? So let's talk about the parts of a rocket. So there are three parts that you need to know before you build, and that is our nose cone, fuselage, and the fins. So these are necessary for your rocket to be able to launch. So how are you gonna do that? There's lots of different shapes on our rocket body. We've got a triangle here or a cone. We have a long cylinder here for our body. And then our fins, they kind of look like trapezoids, but you can have them in triangles. You can design whatever shape you want to be able to create those fins, but it's all going to be done out of paper. So this is my rocket and now you're going to see me launch it. All right, now that you've built your rocket, it is time to test. So we are in our take flight exhibit with our very own stomp rocket launcher where we're going to test the rocket that I built. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to take your rocket and place it on the launcher like so, and go. Woohoo! We want to see your rockets that you build. Thanks for coming to play today.